Florida State's success in 2010 and their appearance in the conference title game may have caught the ACC and the nation by surprise, but the Knowles won't have that luxury this season as they are the favorite to win their league and put themselves in the national title picture. What people say about you is also is respectful and it's nice to hear good things about you, but you still have to go out there and play. And uh, that's the, the main thing our team does understand. And I think that's part of our maturing process as a team. And that's what we learned from Coach Fisher, really. We have great leaders on the team. You know, uh, we emphasize that, you know, staying humble, um, going out every day and being hungry. I think it's huge. And I, I think we embrace those expectations. And like I've said before, and, and I say all the time, that's the reason I want to be the head coach at Florida State. And that's why they wanted to come to Florida State, is to be in those kind of situations. But now what we do with those and how we handle them is, cr is critical. And I think the big thing is living in the now. You might be surprised to learn that Florida State hasn't raised an ACC championship trophy or played in a BCS Bowl since 2005. So suffice it to say, these Knolls are starving for a title. Yeah, we're hungry. You know, uh, you know, we got there, but you know, we didn't get a W. But uh, you know, we're real hungry. We've been working hard all summer. You know, uh, getting stronger, doing extra stuff, watching film, and uh, you know, we we want to go there this year and go beyond that. But uh, you know, we're real hungry. Definitely, definitely, uh, very excited. Uh, obviously, we have to take care of these games first. But you know, to get the opportunity to go back and play whoever we do play in that, in that uh, ACC championship, that's going to be good for us. And you know, hopefully, this time we'll leave with a good taste in our mouth. To reach and win the ACC title game, much of the burden will rest on new starting quarterback EJ Manuel. While the Knowles lost a first-round pick in Christian Ponder, they believe in Manuel because he has already stepped in and performed in each of the last two seasons. He's proven he can, and I think that's huge because he knows he's walked out there on the field and done it at the highest level and done it in the most critical circumstances. So I think that'll be huge, hopefully, in his development and, and allow him to get going quick. I think it's gone very smooth. I think a, a big thing for that was, you know, these guys that I'm playing with are guys I came into college with, class of 08, class of 09 and 2010 and all, as well as these freshman guys. So, you know, the, the, the transition wasn't hard for me at all. Before Florida State jumps into ACC play, they have a huge week three showdown against Oklahoma, a game which they know could set the tone for a special season. It's very important. I think and our, our fans are obviously looking very, you know, really looking forward to that game. Uh, we hear about it just about every day. Uh, we know the task at hand, and we know they beat us really bad last year, embarrassed us, and we definitely want to get a chance to play those guys again at our place. So uh, I think it's going to be good, and uh, obviously we've got to continue to work. Those two first games are, are very important, but uh, the Oklahoma game is going to really set us up as far as our national, you know, national scene and things like that. FSU has a seasoned team that returns a majority of their starters, so if Manuel steps into his permanent role and delivers, and if the defense can improve from its middle-of-the-pack national status, it could be a championship season in Tallahassee, and this year the surprise would be if the Knolls aren't holding a trophy at the end of the ACC season. Paul Warren for CST Tonight.